Hello, this is the first look at my new black rectangle. If you look closely, it's slightly larger than the pine phones I have here. And that's because this is the keyboard case. This is one of the developer units. It's not final hardware yet, because there are some issues to work out, like key presses taking a lot of force to actually press down the keys. And keys being a little bit wonky. But it looks at, that at least the basic hardware is working already. As you can see in the top half, this replaces the back cover of your normal Pine phone. And it has some contacts that meet up with the Poco pins on the back of the Pine phone for the communication and power because the keyboard contains a battery. As you can see here, there is a USB C connection on the keyboard itself that can be used to charge the keyboard. And that will connect to the internal power bank that will in turn charge your Pine phone when it's plugged into this keyboard case. So let's put the Pine phone in it. First, let's get rid of this back cover. And put a battery in it. And on the and on the keyboard case. It's just snapping it in. And now this also neatly lines up. The case fits quite nicely, just like the original back cover for the Pine phone. I've switched to my daily driver phone now because this has a kernel that has support for the keyboard. Right. So here's my normal force session on this scratchy phone because it's the daily driver one. Looks like the driver hasn't probed yet. Yep. And there it is. Basic keyboard input. Let's see if I can get it on here. One of the issues is that the keyboard layout is quite messed up. Like if I press a G here, I get the N on the screen. It doesn't match up, so that has to be fixed. And it looks like the keyboard shows up as a touchpad and a keyboard in one, which messes with the docking in Fosh at least. But that's why these are these developer devices to make sure that the keyboard works right when actual customers receive them. 
I'll probably make an update video about this keyboard once it's supported enough that I can actually type hello world on it. So, thanks for watching.